Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robots' clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead.
There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping, and Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Well, that's a little inconvenient. This shelf's cutting off access to all the pediatric medicines. We have to find a way to move it without drawing any attention. Whoa, that's a lot of drugs. I don't know what they're all for, but I gotta find something for Vera's fever. And I'm guessing it's in that case. I hate to admit it, but if Matt were here, He'd figure something out. Surprised the robots haven't been here yet. They scavenge all sorts of scrap. God knows why. Every time Park's asthma kicks in, I feel so helpless. It's some cable. God, what I'd give to just charge it one last time. So, what have we got here? That was too close for comfort. Damn it, just my luck. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. We'll hear it. Need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever. Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. It's the manager's office. Probably something useful inside. Only problem? It's locked. There's no way I'm getting inside without a keycard. Have to find the manager's keycard first. It's a rec room. The door's locked. How to get inside? I can't get this open on my own. Maybe the fire alarm? Nope. Bad idea. That would bring a lot of unwanted guests. I 
don't think I'll find medical supplies in there. Nope, not the time, Emily. The back door is already unlocked. Could be useful if we need to cut and run. We're not finished here. This isn't just any old supply run. We have to find something for Vera's fever. Whoa, look at all those meds. No way I'm breaking down this door, though. I'll have to find a control panel. I can't open the door. Not when it's blocked like this. Hello, Mr. Cash Register. How's retirement treating you? Nice room. Brian's insomnia doesn't seem to be getting any better. Maybe these pills will do the trick. What kind of fossil is this? These terminals belong in a museum. Looks like a few parts are missing. I wonder if that power unit I found will fit this. Maybe I should try that cable. It's alive! Nice work, Emily. Marta would love this. She's crazy about anime and pretty much anything else from Japan. It's a battery. Something tells me this could come in handy. Looks like we're in business. What's left of humanity is a little bit like this poor little guy. No one left to water it. Oh, the irony. So comfy. <laughs> I remember these. Hey, little buddy, why so quiet? No one to play with? I can't imagine living on the run when you can't even walk. 
Still, I guess that's why they chose to hunker down here. All this useful stuff. Whatever the case, and whoever they were, they couldn't stay hidden forever. Finding this drugstore was a godsend. Luckily, it has some more of the meds Justin needs. Although, let's be honest, a wheelchair is already pretty much a death sentence in this city. Thankfully, this place is the perfect place to hole up. Might even stay a while. Food could become a problem since the closest store is three blocks away, but Justin's safety has to come first. I've been going from time to time to scout out the area. Praying they don't spot me. Turns out the commotion I heard yesterday was a group of people trying to hide here. Nothing but former survivors now. You know what? Everything worked out. They made a bunch of racket in the sales area, but I just shut the door and they never even knew we were here. There's a lot of things I missed from before, but the idiot box isn't one of them. A safe. Now, how to go about getting it open? Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key. Looks like someone forgot to lock up. So, what have we got here? A kid's toothbrush. It's so tiny and cute. This thing's been lying here for a long time. Painkillers. Bingo. These will come in handy for sure. Whoa, that thing's massive. If only it was full of food. Surprise. Out of order. It's a magnetic key for a safe. But which one? No good. Out of reach. I can use this to turn on the fridge. But first I have to get the power up and running. Right. No power. Those batteries I found will fit here. Thanks, but I kinda like living. Sticking my hand in there is asking for trouble. Right. No power. It's, uh... It has to do with electricity. 
but something's definitely missing. It's a battery. This just might work with that beast over by the fridge. There's something pleasant about the rustling of paper and the smell of faded ink. This arrow car looks like it's been sitting here for a while, probably since before the incident. I'd better check for anything useful. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore? The batteries have been placed. Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. Park? Where are you? What the? The alarm. Disable it using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick! Just wait. Hurry, Park! bad. Again. Okay, this sucks. You all right, Em? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need a sec. You sure the alarm will stay off? I guess. Anyway, it's off now. Just shout if you need me. Stupid fridge. I should try again. Suddenly I've got chills running down my spine. No good. Out of reach. No good. Out of reach. Painkillers. Bingo. These will come in handy for sure.
It's a magnetic key for a safe, but which one? No good. Out of reach. Hello, Mr. Cash Register. How's retirement treating you? Hey, I found this. Thought it might be, you know, useful. Great. I've been scared to check, but I think the one I've been using is on its last legs. I'm positive that the meds we need are buried under this shelf, but how am I going to move it? This thing weighs a ton. Maybe. If this thing comes crashing down, you'll hear the noise for blocks. Gotta come up with something. He used to work at his father's music store, before the incident. I know it's silly, but whenever he's wearing those headphones, I really worry the cops will hear and come running in. Suddenly, I've got chills running down my spine. Yes! It worked! No good. Out of reach. Killers. Bingo. These will come in handy for sure. <laughs> Finders keepers? This arrow car looks like it's been sitting here for a while, probably since before the incident. I'd better check for anything useful. Damn it, it's locked. 
but I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore? Nope, not the time, Emily. Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key. Looks like we're in business. I found this. Thought it might be, you know, useful. Great. I've been scared to check, but I think the one I've been using is on its last legs. I'm positive that the meds we need are buried under this shelf, but how am I gonna move it? This thing weighs a ton. Maybe. If this thing comes crashing down, you'll hear the noise for blocks. Gotta come up with something. No, it's not gonna work. There has to be another way. Think. Have to find a way to move this shelf. Still quiet so far, but we have to hurry. We're not finished here. This isn't just any old supply run. We have to find something for Vera's fever. Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key.
This thing's been lying here for a long time. Painkillers, bingo. These will come in handy for sure. Painkillers, bingo. These will come in handy for sure. I wonder where this goes. 